Hey, welcome to this week's video. Last week I did put out a video on uh, creating a nice URL for a Node.js um, for working with AWS S3 bucket with Node.js. Today I'm going to do it with PHP, but the one thing you have to know, and I mentioned it last week, was that the two videos um, actually work together. I'm just going to use one S3 bucket. So in the previous video, I set up the entire S3 bucket, and at the end of the setup, that's when I tell you to come watch this video instead if you're doing it for PHP. So pause this video, open up a new tab, check, take a look at, I'll put the first link in the description below, uh, the, uh, the setup video. Uh, and I also do a little bit of explaining in there. But welcome back or welcome to this video. Uh, if you take a look at my screen, I still have everything open actually from the previous videos filming in this in the same day. As you can see, I, I, I've done all of this with the uh, AWS S3 bucket. Uh, I, I, you know, I don't want to send you away to another video to, to do it, but I don't need to be setting up multiple buckets um, in the same to do the exact same thing. Uh, there's not much to it. I just need an S3 bucket. So I have this S3 bucket. I have an IAM user all set up. Um, I used to follow my own guide. It, it was it was great. I mean, uh, I, <laughs> what else what, what am I going to say? So, but now I'm going to use. Um, if you look at my screen, I'm going to use uh, MAMP to use uh, to build locally. I'm just going to write in PHP, and essentially what it's going to do is access uh, AWS S3, uh, PHP SDK with the Composer. Based on the URL, it's going to go out and grab uh, the username. The username will then, in a MySQL database, tie to a AWS S3 key, and with that key, uh, we'll be able to pull off S3, um, the contents, and then we'll, what we'll do is we'll just add um, display those headers and display the file. So this is the article I'm talking about on my screen right now. Um, I go through and explain all this. Uh, and I mentioned that I reference this AWS S3 uh, file. And this is what I'm talking about. Uh, this will help us with our actual, uh, this is a th where the file upload code goes. Uh, and we just need to use the, the actual package here. So um, if I do an S3, uh, AWS S3 PHP Google, I should get the composer install URL. That's what I'm looking for right now. I want, sorry, uh, here, install via composer. So what I have to run is uh, composer require this. So um, I actually have to use MAMP for this, so I'm going to open up my MAMP. It can be downloaded online. Um, hit start. I think it goes on to port 9000 line. It's usually 888, but uh, it was running into other things, so I moved it. So I'm going to go like this. Yeah. Uh, I think it's. I have to go back all the way to the root, and then go into Applications, and then MAMP, and htdocs. And then I'm gonna make a new folder. I know my so my typing's a little small right now, but I'm make a new folder called uh, uh, URL S3 or something like that. I'm gonna switch into that folder, clear it, and then I'm gonna do um, composer. I have composer installed. Make sure you have composer installed on your computer. And then composer require AWS AWS SDK dash PHP. Okay, I'm going to assume that works. Okay, yeah, it's downloading, so it looks like it's working. Um, I'm going to use, I'm actually going to use Sublime for this one, not MAP. I, I have it set up so the PHP, like the, for PHP, all the syntax, you know, I, I just separate it via Sublime for PHP and Atom for JavaScript. So if you go to my applications here, um, what MAP? htdocs, url s3, and I'm going to open this up. And this is going to be our working directory. I don't actually need this anymore. Don't, don't need that. The one thing I do need though is, I want you to like, please forgive my uh, MySQL <laughs> uh, coding. I, it's been a little bit. So I'm going to create a new database called uh, s3 demo. Clearly I only do s3 demo. I'm going to create a table called users. Uh, I'm going to have 
the ID, which is the primary key. I mean, I can have the username as the primary key. Now I'm gonna follow. Yeah, I'm gonna follow the uh, previous video. So, uh, so the previous video you had like ID as the primary key. So I'm gonna use the ID as the username. Let's say email. Password. I can't. You know, they're gonna be empty. So I'm not gonna put them in. But hypothetically, you have them in profile image. So I only need three columns. So ID. Um, username and profile image and this one's going to be a varchar, this one's going to be a varchar and the ID will be an int. Uh, I just picked 250, I think like 255 like the default the longest it can be, I don't know. Um, it's going to be my primary key yeah and I want to auto increment hit save uh, okay, it's been a little while since I've been done doing PHP, but um, essentially, let's say hypothetically, um, I'm following the same URL as the previous video, which was uh, in the image. No, oh, there it is. Image, and then in there, there was a file called profile, and. In profile, it was profiled by PHP, so it would be the URL would be the following. Let's do this. So it was uh, my website, and then profile, and then I, I would reference the username like this. Uh, makes sense. And so in there, I want to actually add an HD access file. It removes. I would. I would uh, to remove the uh, .php from the URL. Um, but I'm not going to do that in this video. So what I want to do is run the following. I want to say, uh, well, I need the username. So we're going to run a get on you, and we're gonna do a couple things. Uh, string to lower, just so I know it's going to match. Um, let's trim it. I don't know if you can get spaces in there, but and then additional uh, things you need to do, maybe HD uh, characters to exchange or whatever, I don't know. And um, so with that, we're now, now, so if this is empty, I'm gonna say die, error. I'll let you handle the error statements. Sorry, before I just keep talking randomly, I'm gonna explain what I'm gonna do. So it's gonna be, uh, so connect to database is my first step. Second step is to um, get user object. More specifically, the profile image. I guess it'd be ID and profile image. And the last step, oh, sorry, the next step would be connect to uh, AWS S3 bucket. Uh, get object. Display object. Pretty simple, uh, not that many steps. So, I don't want to buy this. Uh, connection. I want this one. And if I remember correctly, it's localhost. It's root. It's root again. And the database is S3 demo, I think. I just made it, and I don't even know. Yeah, S3 demo. can't connect, just throw another error. I just put numbers on it just so I know if an error has been thrown, I know where it's coming from. Um, okay, so that's successful. And so what we want to do is do a query from my users table where the username is equal to this username. Again, just just doing uh, errors so that if it if it fails, I know exactly where it fails, and then I'm gonna count the number of rows, and if it returns well, essentially not one, uh, it's an error because something's wrong. It should only return one user. 
Otherwise, I'm going to grab profile, image. I'm going to do this instead of user. PHP, PHP has null, right? Uh, and then I have my user object. Um, the next thing I want to do is connect to S3, but first I'm going to verify that this is all working. So I'll print the ID, the ID. I'll also print it. And so with that, I'm going to have to make sure my map is running. It is. Both Apache and MySQL are running. I gotta force with this. Um, and I just have to insert a row into here. So uh, one, and then the username is Keith, and the profile image is demo.png. It doesn't actually exist yet, by the way, because it's based on the MERN application. But And if I open up my local host, uh, 9000 slash again I, I have no idea what it is. URL something um, URL dash s3 s3 if I go to image error zero zero one that would be no your that'd be no uh, username okay so it looks like it's working um, it's good to see. So our next step is to create the key object. So let's just start with this. And this would be uh, user at ID plus the slash and user at profile image. That would be the key. Now it's uh, time to connect to the, S, uh, the AWS. And with that, we'll have to use Composer. Um, I'm going to follow this here. This is what I, I um, this is what was used in in this in this posting here. I've included the posting in the description, and I'm just going to plug all this in. And I'm going to put a little dot here just to because like this folder is not actually in the root of my HD Docs folder, so it, it will fail. So it'll actually go back to folder. I'm going to use an exact path. Um, so as you can see, I'm doing here, get the key path. This is the open code privately. I'm sorry about my craziness, but it's a mix of spaces and, uh, and tabs, but let's pretend it works. I'm just going to rename this to be key path. And I literally copied and pasted this code, so it takes the IM stuff, uh, goes through, uses the bucket name, grabs the content, and then displays it. Exactly what we need. Um, so this code's actually been already pretty much written. Um, the one thing we do need to do is get the information regarding um, our access. So this is our access key and our secret key. So this is that line, and then... So this is this line, and the last step is I need the bucket name, which I can find on the bucket at the top there, or it's also in the URL. And that's everything. So technically that should work. We'll find out if it actually does. Result at content type. Oh, it's a result, okay. Well, let's just try it then. Refresh the page. Yeah, no, it's not. I'm not using the correct region. Um, I think I used region one. Yeah, so I was using West Virginia, I think is the wrong one. I think this is one, not two. And the other thing I that makes this doesn't exist. Um, so with that I actually have to add it. So I create a folder called one because he's user number one. And uh, save it. And in folder number one, I have to upload uh, an image called demo. And now that I have demo, 
Um, we can try refreshing this again. Four four. Key does not exist. This is quite the error. Oh, that's why. Uh, this is not loading for some reason. Because this is not proper syntax. This is proper syntax is the dot for PHP. And as you can see, based on it's now working, so um, we have on localhost 9000, we have this very nice URL compared to having um, this big long S3 bucket URL. So that's how you do um, create a nice URL for an S3 bucket uh, with PHP. If you like this video, please subscribe. If you have any questions, leave, leave them in the description below. Um, I'm also going to mention that I'm following. Um, I got this email um, a little while ago, but a month ago, uh, regarding YouTube's change in um, payment and pricing. I, I mean, I can say that I don't uh, make these videos for money. Um, well, I do. Like, I charge the ad revenue, but um, it's not the reason why I do it. However, with the change, um, I get knocked out. I obviously don't have a thousand subscribers, so please subscribe. Um, I don't have a thousand subscribers, but. I still think it's important um, to, I don't know, just get some sort of support because it, it, it makes it easier for me to, to continue to develop and uh, to make these videos because, you know, I started making them because I would learn this, some of this stuff and I wouldn't bother sharing it with anyone else because, uh, you know, I, I would just use myself and it was kind of useless so that's why I started making the videos um, and it, it just makes it easier to make the videos um, <laughs> if there's some sort of financial aspect to it. And so with that, I'm looking at different ways to potentially um, uh, survive after, I guess, the financial, uh, they flick the switch off, uh, because I, I think you need 250,000 minutes watched. I'm at like 150,000 in like the last six months, um, but that puts me under the bar of 250,000 the last year, um, and 1,000 subscribers, I'm not quite there. Please subscribe. Um, so I'm taking a couple suggestions from, um, I guess, Philip DeFranco. Uh, he suggested using Teespring, and I, I think I might do that. Might put a couple T-shirts, uh, programming T-shirts, out there. Um, I don't quite know yet. We'll see in the next video if I actually end up doing it. But please subscribe and please watch for it.